An eerie quiet is hanging over Whistler Village after Sunday's brazen daylight shooting that left two men dead and multiple in custody. Homicide investigators now confirming the incident is related to the ongoing Lower Mainland gang violence. RCMP responded to reports of two men being shot near Sundial Hotel at about 12.20 p.m. on Sunday. One victim was pronounced dead on scene. Paramedics attempted to revive him but were unable to. The other died of his injuries a short time later. IHIT has identified the victims as Sathindera Gill and Maninder Dhaliwal, both of them known to police. Homicide investigators confirming this was a targeted gang shooting. A short distance away, only about two and a half kilometers, a burning vehicle was located in a residential area believed to be connected to the double homicide. Sea to Sky RCMP were able to locate multiple suspects in Squamish and arrest them. There was a vehicle stop that took place outside of Squamish. Uh, two uh, males I know are in custody and we believe it's related, but the investigation is ongoing. I was out front of the store just checking on some bikes and I heard sound like fireworks, but knew it wasn't fireworks. And then of all things, a little 10 year old kid came running right down the road behind us and said there's a shooting going on down there. Basically, I went into the shop, told everybody to stay in the store, and then we locked the doors because I definitely heard like probably a good 10 shots going off. We locked everybody in the shop and then we basically hung out till we sort of gave it some time and until it felt somewhat safe. The investigation is still ongoing, but IHIT says because this was a targeted shooting, there is no further risk to the public. Investigators are asking anyone who has dash cam video that was in the area of the incident or Blueberry Drive where the burning vehicle was located to contact them. Jasmine Bala, Global News.